Hi, this afternoon today I would like to share the permutation of the function. Given the set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So what we have to do here by giving the permutation, we have to wait from top to bottom. For example, we refer to first permutation. We have the order pair 1, 2 from top to bottom. Then second, we have 2, 5. Third, we have 3, 3, 4, 4, and 5, 1. If let's say this is the relation of A, if you would like to find the inverse, we will interchange the domain and the, and the range. Meaning to say from domain to range become range to domain. Then we write 2, 1. 5, 2, 3, 3. We just have to reverse the position to find their inverse. 4, 4 and 1, 5. How if let's say we would like to solve in the form of permutation? So by picking this as example, we have permutation 2, the second permutation. When we write, always refer to the set. We have 1 to 5, first row always in ascending order. So we have 1 to 5. First number is 1. Reverse position means that from bottom to top. Bottom to top, bottom to top, so that we can obtain the inverse correctly. So the first number one refer to one, go up to four, two, two, three, then three, two, two, four, two, one, and last five. If you would like to convert this to disjoint cycles, we just take the first number, 1, followed by 4, 4, followed by 1. So meaning to say this is actually repeated. Then we can stop here. So we have 1 to 4, 4 go back to 1. As we can see, this is a cycle. Or what we call is a circle. Whenever we are able to obtain circle, then we have to close the bracket, then we continue to the next number. So we have to make sure this number 2 does not appear in the first place. We have to make sure that no number being repeated, then only we call disjoint cycles. So we have 2, move to 3. 3 move back to 2, so means that stop. Next, 4 already taken here, then 5 is loop. For loop, we don't have to write as disjoint cycle, meaning to say we can stop here and done. So second example, we have P1 and P3. Permutation 3 connects permutation 1. Always wait from behind to the one in front, from right to left. Unfortunately, P3 is in disjoint cycle 4. So we can first convert back to the normal permutation. Always refer to the set A. We write number according to ascending order for both. We have to write 2 is because as we can see we have two cycles here okay then we read from left to right meaning to say 2 connects 2 proceed to 1 1 proceed to 4 4 proceed to 2 it's a cycle so 2 to 1 1 to 4 4 go back to 2 for the numbers that we did not see in this cycle, means that there are loops. So we just loop them. Okay, for the next cycle, we have 3 to 5, 5 to 3 others, again loop. So done.
then we can calculate or find their connection or the other path so we have always from right to left take the behind permutation at first followed by their front permutation so always according to assigning order so one two three four and five so one to one make sure they are connected so this number the end point must be exactly the same as the start point of the second permutation so one two four then two to two two go to one so next we have three to five five to five four to four four to two last five to three three to three make sure no numbers are repeated okay then we proceed to the permutation and find the answer so one two three four five two five three four one then we copy always start from first row arrange the numbers in ascending order so again from right to left so one to four four to four two to one one two two three to five five to one four to two two to five five to three three to three then done so let's say we would like to convert into this joint cycle again we can take the first number one press it to four then go to five then go to three as we can see two is a loop so we can ignore then we're done here we have to bear in mind that this is a circle it's a cycle so from we read from left to right then go back to the first so equivalently we will have four five three one or we can also write five three one four we just have to make sure the sequence is always correct in circle four okay for the last example always again read from behind to the one in front again we write one two three four and five arrange in ascending order so first we read the permutation three so we read this so we have one to four so one to four the second permutation we should take the number four okay or to a bit easier we can copy the permutation first and the last permutation then we solve for the answer always from behind to the one in front so one to four four to one one to two the end point two then we write two two to one one to four four to four end point four three to five five to five five to one end point one four to two two to three three to three five to two five to three three to two two to five so done okay that's all for today thanks for watching who like this see you